Huawei's shift toward Harmony OS for its next-generation PCs represents a major turning point in the company's approach to software and hardware development. After years of relying on Windows for its laptop lineup, Huawei's decision to move away from Microsoft's operating system and adopt its own Harmony OS is both a strategic and practical one. This decision is driven by a series of internal and external factors, including the need for greater self-sufficiency in the wake of the U.S. trade ban and the desire to create a more seamless and integrated ecosystem across its devices. The transition to Harmony OS on PCs has far-reaching implications, not just for Huawei but for the broader tech industry. Huawei has already faced significant challenges over the past few years due to the trade restrictions imposed by the U.S., which have hindered its ability to access critical software and hardware from American companies. The most notable of these challenges has been the restriction on Huawei's access to Microsoft's Windows operating system. As one of the world's largest and most influential tech companies, Microsoft's refusal to provide Huawei with updates to Windows placed the Chinese manufacturer in a difficult position. The company could no longer rely on Windows for its laptops and desktops, and it was forced to look for alternative solutions. In response to this dilemma, Huawei began developing its own operating system, Harmony OS, which initially launched on smartphones. Harmony OS was designed as a cross-platform operating system that could work seamlessly across a wide range of Huawei devices, including smartphones, smartwatches, tablets, and other connected devices. While Harmony OS has seen mixed reviews in the smartphone market, it has steadily gained traction and received continuous updates, making it more stable and user-friendly over time. Huawei's decision to extend Harmony OS to its laptops and desktops is the logical next step in its broader strategy to reduce its reliance on foreign technologies. The company has long been committed to building an ecosystem of interconnected devices, and by bringing Harmony OS to its PCs, it hopes to create a more unified experience for users. This is particularly important as the lines between different types of devices continue to blur, with smartphones, laptops, tablets, and wearables increasingly sharing similar features and functionality. The benefits of Harmony OS in a desktop and laptop environment are significant. One of the most compelling aspects of the operating system is its potential for deep integration with other Huawei devices. For example, users could enjoy a seamless experience when switching between a Huawei phone, tablet, and laptop with shared apps, files, and data syncing effortlessly across all devices. This kind of cross-platform compatibility is something that both Microsoft and Apple have struggled to fully achieve, and it is an area where Harmony OS could have a distinct advantage. If Huawei can pull this off, it would create a compelling reason for users to invest in a range of Huawei products, rather than being locked into the ecosystems of Apple or Microsoft. The move to Harmony OS could also bring significant advantages in terms of performance optimization. Because Huawei controls both the hardware and the software of its devices, the company has the opportunity to fine-tune its operating system to work perfectly with its own laptops and desktops. This level of optimization is something that is difficult for companies like Microsoft and Apple to replicate as they have to ensure that their operating systems are compatible with a wide range of third-party hardware. By designing both the hardware and software in-house, Huawei can ensure that its laptops and desktops deliver a fast, responsive, and stable experience that is tailored to the unique needs of its users. However, Huawei faces several challenges in making Harmony OS a viable operating system for laptops and desktops. The first and most obvious challenge is the need to create a compelling software ecosystem. Windows and Mac OS have decades of developer support and a vast library of software applications that users rely on for everything from productivity to entertainment. Harmony OS, by contrast, is still relatively new and lacks the breadth of software that users are accustomed to. For Harmony OS to succeed on PCs, Huawei will need to convince developers to create apps for the platform or at the very least ensure that existing Android apps can run smoothly on Harmony OS-powered laptops. 
Another significant challenge for Huawei is overcoming the perception that Harmony OS is an inferior operating system. Many users are familiar with the stability and familiarity of Windows or Mac OS, and it may be difficult for Huawei to convince them to switch to an entirely new platform, especially if they don't see any immediate benefits. This is where Huawei's deep integration between hardware and software could come into play. By offering a unique and compelling experience that isn't available on Windows or Mac OS, Huawei could differentiate its Harmony OS-powered PCs and win over users who are looking for something different. For example, if Harmony OS offers features like faster boot times, better power management, and seamless integration with Huawei smartphones and tablets, it could convince users to make the switch. Huawei also faces the challenge of ensuring that its PCs can compete with the performance and features of other leading laptops on the market. The company has built a reputation for producing high-quality hardware with its MateBook lineup, but it will need to ensure that its laptops are on par with the best in terms of design, performance, and features. This includes high-resolution displays, long battery life, powerful processors, and a sleek, modern design. In addition, Huawei will need to provide strong support for peripherals and accessories, such as external monitors, printers, and storage devices, to ensure that users can easily connect and use their laptops in a variety of settings. Despite these challenges, there is significant potential for Harmony OS-powered laptops to succeed, particularly in markets where Huawei has a strong presence. In China, where Huawei's brand is well established, the company is likely to have an easier time convincing consumers to embrace its new operating system. Huawei is already a leader in the smartphone and tablet markets, and it has a loyal customer base that could be receptive to its new laptops. Furthermore, the Chinese government has shown a preference for homegrown technologies, and this could provide Huawei with an additional boost in the domestic market. In terms of timing, Huawei is expected to launch its first Harmony OS-powered laptops around 2025. These devices are expected to be high-end models, possibly including Ultrabooks and other premium devices designed to showcase the potential of Harmony OS on PCs. The company is also rumored to be working on a new Ultra Notebook, which could feature cutting-edge hardware and offer a premium computing experience for power users. While details about this new laptop are scarce, it is likely that it will push the boundaries of design and performance, offering features like ultra-fast processors, high-resolution displays, and long battery life. Overall, Huawei's move to Harmony OS for its next-generation PCs is a bold and ambitious step that could reshape the company's future in the computing space. By moving away from Windows and adopting its own operating system, Huawei is taking a risk but it also has the opportunity to create a unique and integrated ecosystem that sets it apart from its competitors. Whether Harmony OS can compete with the established players in the PC market remains to be seen, but Huawei's strong hardware portfolio, commitment to innovation, and desire for self-sufficiency make this a move worth watching. If successful, it could pave the way for a new era of computing, where Huawei's Harmony OS becomes a viable alternative to Windows and Mac OS.